sick. I can see it. Oh man, this is so sick. What's good everyone? My name is Philip Lemoyne and I'm actually a full-time cinematographer, but I love to cook. On this channel, I'm not only posting cooking videos with some of my favorite tried and true recipes, but I also share tips and strategies to help you make your own cooking videos. And I guess I'm also doing appliance reviews. So if you're hungry for great tasting food or that YouTube money, spank that subscribe button. So earlier last month, Ninja Kitchen actually reached out to me on Instagram asking if I was interested in partnering with them to produce a couple videos. So they went ahead and sent me a brand new, never before seen appliance, and that's what I'm going to demo on behalf of the company. In this video, I'll be unboxing the new appliance and I'll show you what's included. I'll also go over some of the specs, features, and my first impressions. I plan to cook a few recipes over the next few weeks and I'll share that and my thoughts at the end of this video. So I'm actually filming this video before the appliance is announced to the public, so I won't be able to release this video until I get the official okay. By then you should already know what this thing is and that's probably why you're watching this video. But this is actually my first time seeing it, so let's just get right into it. I got it down here. Oosh. All right, so this is the box. As you can see, it is the Ninja Foodie XL Air Oven. Model DT201 LP3. Let's open this guy up. I don't know if I should keep this box if I have to send this thing back. Sick, I can see it. Oh man, this is so sick. Here it is, y'all. Boomski. That looks sick. Pull it out. This is shrugs. Oh. Damn, sweating. <laughs> Dang, look at this thing. So here's the box. It has all this art around it. Dang, this looks sick. So this is the newer version of their older uh, foodie oven. Um, it looks, I mean, right off the bat, it's twice as big. Maybe not wide or top. I mean, let's just jump in. Let's see what's inside the box. All right, so the first thing in here, let's check this out. So the first thing we have in here is what looks like to be a recipe book, um, their quick start guide, and the owner's guide. We don't need this. Just kidding. Oh, shit. I actually do need that. I gotta figure out how to use this thing. So the quick start guide helps us get familiar with the control panel. On the inside, it breaks down the different cooking functions, what level of convection, and how much heat comes from the top and bottom heating elements based on the functions that you've selected. It also explains what functions are best for which foods you plan to cook, and a digital rack guide to know where to place your accessories when cooking with one or two levels at a time. On the back, there are some tips and tricks for getting the best results and easy cleanup. The recipe book has 15 mouthwatering recipes for breakfast, sides, appetizers, lunch, dinner, and dessert. There are also cooking charts at the end to help you get the best results when air fry cooking or dehydrating. Uh, first thing this looks like in this box, we have a roasting tray and two sheet pans. On this other side, looks like I just gotta pull the oven out. Let me just put this on the floor and pull this thing out. I don't know why I'm making this difficult. Oh man, here it is. A little heavy. Let me take all this stuff off here. Wow, look at that. This thing looks so nice. It's like stainless steel. Bunch of vents on it. Let me take all these stickers and stuff off and then we'll get right back to the video. The design of the new Ninja Foodi XL Air Pro Oven is pretty sick. Right off the bat, it's larger than the previous version. And what I think is cool is that they put the controls of the unit onto the handle to save space. The older model had them off to the side, which I think made the device wider than it needed to be. This model is taller and has four different rack levels. This gives you the ability to cook evenly on two separate rack levels at once. 
you can now make family sized meals with your protein cooking on one level and your veggies on the other. They say it fits up to a five pound chicken with two pounds of vegetables on another rack. There are air intake and outlet vents all around the machine. You just wanna make sure that you don't cover these vents or it could lead to uneven cooking or can even result in overheating and damaging your unit. The unit will get hot when you use it, so you might wanna make sure you avoid placing anything on top of it while you're using it. So here are some specs of the Ninji Foodie Ninji? <laughs> so here are the unofficial specs for the Ninja Foodi XL Pro Air Oven. I just measured these myself and I'm still waiting to hear back from them on the official measurements, but I'll be sure to put that somewhere on the screen uh, as I'm reading this off to you. It weighs 16.8 pounds. It's 1800 watts. The dimensions are about 17 inches wide by 19 and three quarters inches deep by 13 and a quarter inches tall. The cord length is three feet. Next, I'm gonna give you the internal measurements. Again, these are unofficial. I just used the tape measure to uh, figure this out for you guys. The interior is about 11 and a half inches deep and about 14 inches wide. There are eight inches above the bottom rack to the top heating elements. There is about six and a quarter inches from rack two to the top heating element. There is about four and a quarter inches from rack three to the top heating element and there are about two and a half inches between the top rack and the top heating elements. And there's about an inch and a half of space between each rack. Inside the unit, we have an air fry basket, two sheet pans, a roasting tray, two racks, and a removable crumb tray. Here's what the roasting tray looks like. And it just seats inside one of the sheet pans. It's recommended that you hand wash all of your accessories that come with your oven. Wash the wire racks, air fry basket, sheet pans, roasting tray, and crumb tray in warm, soapy water, then rinse and dry thoroughly. You can use a non-abrasive cleaning brush to more thoroughly wash the air fry basket. If you're having trouble getting tough grease out, let the accessories soak in warm, soapy water overnight, and it'll be much easier to scrub and wash off. If you wanna place the wire racks or air fry basket in the dishwasher, you can do so, but note that it may cause some wear over time. Do not place the sheet pans, roasting tray, or crumb tray in the dishwasher. If they are placed in the dishwasher, it may cause the finish to degrade. Always have the crumb tray in the oven when using it and never cover it or any other part of the oven with aluminum foil. This can cause the oven to overheat or could cause a fire. The Ninja Foodi XL Smart Oven comes with 10 different cooking functions. Whole roast, air roast, air fry, bake, dehydrate, broil, toast, bagel, pizza, and reheat. The technology that's new and exclusive to this oven is Ninja's True Surround Convection. You get up to 10 times the convection power versus a full-size convection oven, which delivers faster, crispier, and juicier results. So you can make a family sized meal up to 30% faster versus traditional sized ovens without swapping or rotating pans. The digital display rack guides take the guesswork out of rack placement. Press the two level button when cooking two levels of food and the handle display will let you know where to place your racks and accessories. Just a quick note, use the roasting tray on top of the sheet pan while cooking proteins or oiled vegetables helps reduce smoke caused by dripping and helps better circulate air underneath the food for added crispiness. You don't wanna allow anything to drip onto the bottom heating elements, that would be bad. So over the next couple of days, I'll be shooting some content for Ninja and I'll actually get to cook with the new oven. I'm also gonna try out a few of my own recipes and I'll be sure to document this and that's what's gonna be coming up next in this video. And then at the end, I'll give you my final overall review. So the very first thing that I cooked in this oven was some chicken wings. This was a recipe I followed from the recipe book, which I shot to demo the oven on behalf of Ninja. This was also my first time ever using an air fryer. I was super impressed with how even everything cooked inside the oven on two separate levels. Not only was the recipe great, but the chicken came out crispy and juicy. So I don't have footage of me actually eating the wings, but I ended up killing this entire bowl of chicken wings. The next thing that Ninja had me cook to demo their oven was a five pound prime rib. And uh, this was honestly my first time ever cooking a prime rib roast. And I had very low expectations as I put this into the oven. I cooked this using the air roast function and it took about two or two and a half hours. 
I was happy to see that the outside had really nice, even cooking and color all around the meat. The real test came to when I cut into the meat and that's when I was pretty much sold on this oven. The prime rib was cooked exactly to the temperature that I was hoping for. The inside had great color and I just thought like, man, if this oven can pull this off with such a large piece of meat, I'm sure I'm not gonna have any trouble cooking any of the other things that I was planning on testing out. I tried the air fry function again on some frozen french fries that I got from the grocery store. The air fry basket is nice because it allows heat to get all around the food so you don't have to worry about flipping things around. You can see the fries getting crispy while they cook. When I pulled them from the oven, they had nice color. The outside of the fries were crispy and the insides were soft and fluffy. One of the main things that we use our larger main oven in our apartment for is roasting veggies. Um, it does a really good job of creating a nice crispy char on the outside of the food without burning it or drying it out. One of the biggest downsides though is that it takes the oven about 15 minutes for it to preheat to 450 degrees. It also makes our kitchen really hot. What's great about the Ninja oven is that it preheats in 90 seconds. I don't even wait for it to preheat. I just throw the food inside and I hit start. The oven delivers the same results our big oven did in less time. The next thing I made in the oven was a frozen pizza. The directions say to place the pizza directly onto the rack, but I was a little bit worried that it might drip down onto the heating elements below, so I placed a sheet pan underneath the pizza. So the pizza looks evenly cooked. I mean, all around it looks great. I mean, this side I kind of messed up and it was falling off the side of the rack, but it's evenly browned all the way around. This part was actually the closest to the front of the glass. And this was the back. So, I mean, I would have thought that this would have been the darker spot because it's on that back heating element. But man, all around evenly cooked. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. Um, pretty even. A little bit browner around here, but I'd say pretty even. The pizza looked great, but the bottom of the crust was softer than it would normally come out when I cook it in our larger home oven. I think this might have had something to do with me placing the sheet pan underneath it while it was cooking in the Ninja oven. One of the last things I tested was baking some pre-made frozen cookie dough. I'll put a link to the recipe of my cookies if you want to check that out. This video actually just hit a million views uh, about last week and I swear this is the best chocolate chip cookie recipe. Anyways, I wanted to again test to see if the temperature would be even on all of the corners. So I placed six cookies on the sheet pan. Once they were finished, I pulled them from the oven and let them cool off. The tops of all the cookies were evenly cooked. After they were cooled off, I checked the bottoms and you can see here that, again, they are all evenly cooked from what I can tell. The consistency and the texture of the cookies came out perfectly as well. The outside had a nice slight crunch, but the inside was soft and chewy. So to wrap this video up, my overall first impressions of the oven is that it's great. We honestly use this oven more than we use our main oven now. I do wish that we had more accessories like pans or casserole dishes that fit inside of the oven, and I think that's something that I'm planning on looking into into the future. One thing that I noticed about the oven is that the fan is kind of, and I don't want to say loud, because it's not loud, but just comparing it to my toaster oven, and I've never had a convection oven, but you can definitely hear the fan while it's cooking. It's definitely loud if you were to open the oven while it's cooking, but once you close the door, it is much quieter. So this is an audio test. This is how loud the fan is. The camera is about four feet away from the appliance. If you plan on picking one up, I would highly recommend that you clean the inside after every use, or at least give the inside a quick wipe down. 
We neglected the oven for a few weeks and it was a little difficult to get some of the splatter marks off of the inside of the oven. We haven't tried any harsh chemical oven cleaners though. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I plan to share a bunch of other recipe videos in the future using this oven, so make sure to subscribe if you wanna catch them when they drop. Ninja gave me an affiliate link to their products, and if you're interested in picking one up, you can help support me and my channel by purchasing through my affiliate link, which I'll put down in the description of this video. I'll also see if I can sweet talk Ninja into a discount code, and I'll put that next to the link if they do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have a ton of other videos up and in the works to help with creating better YouTube cooking content, along with great tasting recipe videos. If you wanna catch them when they drop, make sure that you subscribe, and again, thank you so much for watching. Aloha.